Tampon boys, tampon lids, bitches and bitch lids, and niggles and niggles, run up! <laughs> oh my god, before, before I get some fucking puss in the comic section, saying, bro, why the fuck are you saying the fucking N word basically? First of all, I don't even, first of all, everyone fucking sees nigga in the first place. Everyone fucking sees it. Fucking Asians, fucking Hispanics. Even though white people do, even though it's so fucking, I I hate when white people like say to be to be completely honest, because they they're they're just too white. They're just they're too white. Like seriously, but whatever. Everyone fucking sees they fucking people in Japan, China, fucking all these random ass cities that we don't fucking know. People, everyone sees it. So I don't know why why it's such a bad word, you know? When people when people are like in school, you know, if you, if you saw if someone sees it, like the teacher would say. Hey, what you say? Whatever you know, it's like it's not even a bad word. Everyone fucking says it, so I, so it's a, so it's like it's like nothing offensive anymore. It's just like saying fucking bro. Seriously, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's like everyone says it, so I don't think it's a fucking offensive anymore. To be completely honest, but whatever. All right. Reason why? Reason why Charlotte defeated Sasha Banks at Hell in a Cell review, dude. If you guys didn't watch my own self review, go make sure you go watch it. Even though I forgot to say some things, man. This, this is what I hate about making my fucking reviews is that I always forget forget to say shit, man. I don't know what the fuck I have my hoodie on, but I always forget to say stuff like, like I'm always forgetting. So I'm always forgetting to say shit. Like like I'll be watching the fucking like the pay per view, you know, and something happens. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm gonna say something, you know, and that I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something in Boston. And then after I'm done recording the damn video, I'm all, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to say this, forgot to say that, I forgot to talk about that. It's like it's annoying. So like from now on, I think every time I watch, every time I make a review, like um on the pay per views, I might be writing the shit down so then when I come on here, I fucking actually remember, dude, because so I can just read it off the damn list. I mean off the damn paper, you know. Cause I'm always forgetting, sh I'm always forgetting to say stuff. But the reason why Charlotte defeated Sasha Banks, I honestly reviewed the way how the match ended was fucking terrible. Seriously, our it was like. By the way, dude, did anyone see Sasha Banks' fucking ass? The cameraman kept getting the cameraman did a great job, bro. A great fucking job for getting. Holy shit, dude! They just kept. Her ass kept fucking sticking out, dude. Oh my god, dude. Her, oh my god, dude. Sasha Banks is so fucking beautiful. Heading into Hell in a Cell, a lot of people were expecting Sasha Banks to defeat Charlotte inside the, inside the cell. Exactly. I mean, what I thought, what everyone thought, basically, just like what Solid Monster said, is that we all thought this was going to happen, is that maybe um we were going to see Nia Jax come in the damn match, you know, fucking after the match, and attack everybody, but... But we, but, and then from there, we thought that we were going to see a feud between Sasha Banks and Nia Jax for the Women's Champion, but I'm guessing WWE didn't do that at all. I mean, we didn't see Nia Jax at all in the first place. I mean, that would have been a perfect opportunity for her to, because obviously they're trying to build her as a monster. That would that, that would have been a perfect opportunity right there, you know, right after the match, make her come out, fucking attack everyone, maybe even attack the damn referees and shit, to be completely honest. But yeah, the cell. Onto a long and propitious run w um, with the uh, uh, Raw Women's title. However, Charlotte emerged victorious as he as Hell in a Cell um, concluded. After Raw last night, Charlotte will will be leading Team Raw into Survivor Series against Nikki Bella's team. Who gives a shit? I certainly don't give. A I certainly don't even give a fuck about Survivor Series. It's, it's gonna be four fucking hours long. Give me a fucking break. Team SmackDown, so the Raw Women's Title will be, to, um, will be taking a back seat. Even though it seems like Bailey is the next big feud for Charlotte. After that, probably. According to reports from Ringside News, WWE officials originally planned for the balls to retain the title against Charlotte on Sunday, but those plans were changed. Meek Mahan, dude. Matt Hardy is a fucking beast, dude. By the way, if you don't know what the fuck I said right there, is that Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon, but Matt Hardy calls him Meek Mahan. So from now on, he's called Meek Mahan. Meek Mahan only decided there about 
would re but would main event the pay per view on sa on Saturday night. The fuck? Okay, they just made a botch right there. I guess and say because it's supposed to say Sunday night, but instead it says Saturday night. Bunch of fucking idiots. Sunday night. Apparently, WWE officials changed their minds and Charlotte re um, regained the title for a third time because they want to move forward with Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Their feud was rumored to be set for WrestleMania 33, but it will likely happen much earlier. It's unclear how the Raw Women's title picture will go over the coming months, but Bailey will be taking a much more active role in the title hunt moving forward. Alright, I don't like the fact how the women's title just keeps fucking jumping back and forth. It's it's annoying, I mean. Oh, fuck. I don't know what the f Obviously, it was a last minute decision, like I said here. The reason why is because they don't want to start the feud between Bailey and Sasha Banks yet. They want to wait till WrestleMania 33 season. That's probably the best time, you know. But what I was thinking of, like, just like, is that, well, I mean, what everyone was thinking of, is that me? Is that we? Were, I thought that we were all gonna have a feud between Sasha Banks and Nia Jax, but I guess not. Do we mean Charlotte win? Obviously, we're probably most likely gonna have Bailey versus Charlotte or some shit. I don't know, but I don't know. Do we gonna do this because obviously we will be having Sasha Banks versus Bailey at WrestleMania 33. Obviously, but but I think but I but I want Sasha Banks to walk into WrestleMania 33 women's with the women's champion just like an NXT takeover you know she walked in as the champion and then and the person who walked out with the champion was Bailey so hopefully they relive that moment but when Sasha Banks does walk into WrestleMania 33 I want it to be a heel Sasha Banks I don't like it a baby face at all she says the same fucking shit over and over again oh my god when I was 9 years old is what I dream of um, Eddie, Eddie Guerrero inspired me to do this, you know, stuff like that. It's, her promos fucking suck these days, to be completely honest. She, she says the same shit. It's just, it's the same stupid shit, dude. It, that's only two topics that comes out of her mouth, uh, comes out of her mouth now, dude. That's the only fucking two topics about Eddie Guerrero and, like, and when she was nine years old is what she dreamed of, you know, her dream came true. It's like, it's like, shut the fuck up. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's cool to talk about it, but, like, she just keeps talking about it. It just gets annoying, but whatever. But I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I don't know how WWE's gonna do this, dude. With uh, obviously Bailey versus um, Charlotte's gonna happen. I think could have Bailey take the title away from Charlotte, and then we have a feud between Bailey and Nia Jax, and then and then I, I don't fucking know how WWE's gonna do this, dude. But but we'll, what? But yeah, whatever. Next um, article. WWE planning face time face turn for AJ Styles. By the way, um, today's Wednesday about the time of recording this, but last night in SmackDown, he actually got locked out of his fucking rental car. So, so he's a fucking dumbass for that for leaving his keys inside the damn rental car. And it was like that, you know. There was a video um on Facebook or whatever, and the cops came. He obviously called the cops, you know, try trying to unlock the damn car and shit, shit like that. And there was fans all over the damn place. I wonder, that must have been annoying. I wonder how long he was out there for trying to get inside inside the damn car. But yeah, what an idiot he is. AJ Styles is SmackDown's top heel. And the uh, WWE Champion. However, a lot of things have changed recently for the brand's roster. Randy, Randy Orton is part of a weird thing with Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. May see him turning heel. And John Cena is away for the rest of 2016. I'll talk about that this weekend, alright? The point is that SmackDown is suddenly missing um, two top ba top faces. Dean Ambrose is the top face for a brand for the brand right now, but it's being rumored that WWE officials are having um, thoughts about making an unexpected move with a face that runs the place. So fucking cheesy. According to recent reports from SportsKey.com, never heard of them. WWE officials are considering a change of character for HSLs and a face turn over the coming months. The rumor is that the, pretend the phenomenal one will be a face before WrestleMania 33. It's not that Styles is incapable of being a, a face on SmackDown. He was um, doing it very well as a face earlier this year, but it, it was an it was his 
eligible with the club. His heel run, his, his heel turn, and this feud with Cena, um, that really gave him a boost to become the WWE World Champion. For whatever reason, WWE officials are thinking about turning AJ Styles over the next few months, which means there are likely going to be some big changes coming for SmackDown before the greatest stage of them all. I like fucking AJ Styles as a as a um, heel. He's so he's so much better as a heel. I don't like him. I don't. I didn't like him as a babyface when he first came into WWE. The first couple months, I, I didn't. I didn't like him as babyface at all. I, I like him better as a fucking heel. And apparently, he's gonna be turn um um be, turning to ba- to babyface before WrestleMania 33. I don't know what the fuck's gonna go on. I mean, John Cena is gonna be gone for the rest of 2016. So I, I'm, I'm guessing. I, I don't know, but if he's gonna be turning babyface before WrestleMania 33, then um, he, then he, it's probably because he doesn't have a match with someone who's a fucking heel or some shit. Or I, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. All right, guys. For the last article, we're gonna have backstage news on Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens breakup. It's been um, speculated for a while now that Chris Jericho would do a breakup angle with Kevin Owens before he heads off to go record his new album, his new Fozzy album. While the two have remained best friends, it's still believed that the angle will take place and, and it may get started proper at Survivor Series leading into a possible match at the Raw brand Roadblock event in December. Does anyone, does anyone really care, dude? I, I, I really don't. I mean, Kevin Owens is a fucking universal champion, but yet, he's been booked as not the most important man on the fucking show. Chris Jericho is. Even the fucking list of Jericho has been way more important than the title and Kevin Owens. So, yeah, so it's like, why the fuck should I care about the damn title if, the, if everything else has been way more important than the fucking title and Kevin Owens? Well, yeah, it, it's pretty yeah, obvious. It, they're gonna. I thought that we all. Th- I'm pretty sure everyone thought that. Hell, so uh, we we probably all thought that. Ke- um, Ch- Chris Jericho was gonna turn his back on Kevin Owens. And speaking about Chris Jericho, I actually wouldn't mind him as Universal Champion. Completely yeah, honest with everyone right now, I actually want him to be the Universal Champion. But since he's leaving, like in probably like two or three months, you know, because you know how that he's in it. You know how he has his own band, Fozzy. They're gonna go record an album. So he's probably gonna be gone for about like for, probably for like almost like a year or so maybe to go on, to record his album you know and then and go on tour and shit like that. Well yeah, since this fucking video, if you haven't subscribed, you have no clue what the fuck you're waiting for, bitch. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, and I will be talking about an infinite warfare is coming out this Friday, and I'm probably gonna have it, and I will be re- and I can and I will be grinding the shit off that game this weekend, and in a couple weeks I'm getting my Hagado, so right after I get that, I want to start fucking streaming, dude. I really want to start streaming too, by the way. So I can't wait to get that Hagado. My God, in a couple weeks I'm gonna start streaming. I mean, I think that'll be pretty fucking fun, you know. See me. F- All I do is rage, but I'm out.